Hey, what is going on guys? Watson KHD here, back again with another Red Dead Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new location that has been found where you can get pretty much an unlimited supply of fish and you can make some easy, easy money. Now, I know you guys are probably getting sick of fish methods by now, but they make you a lot of money. You can get a lot of fish very easily and you can get a lot of money. And this one is really, really easy. Not only that, but you're right next to a butcher. So, this location is actually here in St. Denis. It's Bronte's Mansion. And I'm just going to zoom out here so you can see this. And uh, once you get to this location, just head in through the front gate. And you want to head round to the back of this house. So let's make our way around the back now. And once you get inside this house at the back, you're going to see this little pond here. And inside this pond, there's actually going to be fish. Now guys, I actually quickly went back and got my horse, but once you get here, you are going to want to pull out your fishing rod, and you're not going to see any fish at the minute, but do not worry. Once you've got your fishing rod out, put on a bait or a lure. I'm going to use a lake lure. And once you've put that on, you want to try and cast it out into the uh, kind of the little pond. Boom, like there we go. And then what you should end up seeing is you should see some ripples starting to form in the wall. As you can see, there's a ripple over there. And we'll leave it in there for a few seconds. Take it out. And although we've only got one fish, let's go and actually have a look at what this fish is. So, oh no, we've got two fish. I'll just see another fish actually spawning. So pull out your varmint rifle. And as you can see, we got a big fish over there. So let's take him out. I don't know if I killed him. I'm hoping I did. No, I didn't kill him. He's still alive. So, yeah, he's dead. And we got a nice little fish over here. So this one's going to be a bit hard to hit because he keeps moving. I would appreciate it, mate, if you could stop moving. There we go. He's dead. So now we can pick up the chain pickerel that we got from that. Put him inside our pocket. And we've also got a lake sturgeon. Now, lake sturgeons, these sell for like over $7.00. And the fact that if we quickly pause game, look on a map, we have a butcher right over here, so close to Bronte's mansion. So you don't even have to travel far. You could come here um, once we can actually uh, get out of this pond. That would be great. Okay, guys, so I couldn't get out of the water. So what I did was I put the lake sturgeon near this bit of wall. I jumped up onto the wall, and then you can then pick up the lake sturgeon, walk off, and then put this onto your horse and funnily enough as i was doing that more fish have just spawned so we can go back kill some more fish even more money and i believe one of them is another lake sturgeon so if you don't mind going for a little bit of a run you could take two lake sturgeon over to this butcher or maybe even three if you could i don't know find another horse that you could jump onto so let's go ahead kill some of these bad boys right that's another lake sturgeon gone there's another lake sturgeon over there so i might actually try and find a spare horse from somewhere. And then uh, we'll just lead him. I completely missed that sturgeon. Where's the... Uh, there's some little fish over here. That are, I'm going to have some definite trouble getting. Because I can never hit small objects. Right, now that's one of them down. That's another one down. I see a third fish somewhere. Here he is. Let's try and get him. No, completely missed. Got him that time. And there is another one like right here, but I can't see him. No, there he is. And there's another one. So, boom. We have some more chain pickerel right here. Um, and not only that, you're leveling up your dead eye as well while you're doing this. So, if you want to level up your dead eye fast, I mean, it's not going to be extremely fast, but, you know, it's going to be faster than not leveling it up at all. This is definitely a way to go. But as you can see, we've got a... Uh, lake sturgeon on the back of our horse we have another lake sturgeon here so all you really need to do is find a another horse and take him there or you could even risk running over there and just calling your horse making sure he follows you and you can turn into now you do have to be careful when doing that because there are obviously other players around here and if they see you walking around with a lake sturgeon i'm pretty sure they will probably try and kill you so Let's just try and make our journey over here. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to make you watch it. Um, we're just going to try and get over there on our own. Okay, guys. So we're at the butcher. I should have probably mentioned if you are walking, if you're going to carry a fish and have a fish on your horse, while you're running, press up on the D-pad to whistle your horse and then he'll follow you. 
But here we are, we have the Lake Sturgeon on the back of the horse. We're carrying a Lake Sturgeon, and we've also got whatever else we picked up. So let's go ahead to sell. And here we go, two Lake Sturgeons, 725 each. Let's sell both of those. That's $14.50 right there. Uh, and we also picked up five chain pickles that sell for $15. So just under $20. And that took us all of about three, maybe four minutes. We quickly ran there, got the stuff. And obviously, guys, if you can steal a horse, that makes getting there and back so, so much quicker. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do one more time and uh, see if we can get even luckier. But this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and steal a horse. Makes the journey that much quicker. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to show you the journey again. So I'll see you when we're there. Okay, guys. So we're back at the little pool. Let's just go ahead, grab our fishing rod out. Uh, put some bait on. We're going to put the lure on again. Okay, no, the lure's already on. And then we're just going to try and swim it. Uh, swim it? Try and throw it into the pool just like that. And in a second, we should end up seeing some fish starting to spawn. Uh, I don't know if any fish have spawned yet. It's because it's late at night, I can't really see them. Um, we'll give it a couple more seconds and then we'll head inside. Okay, guys, I think that's long enough. I think I can see some fish. Yes, we have another sturgeon right in here. If I didn't miss, that would even be better. That'd be even better, shall I say? English, Kieran. English. Um, we do have another horse, but he just got scared off by the gunshot. Okay, so that completely flopped. Actually, no, he's still here. He's still here. We could be lucky. Um, obviously, I'm not going to worry about putting the sturgeon on that one too much. I'm going to focus on getting it on my horse first. So it would be great if I could actually get onto this wall. So again, guys, we're back at the butcher. We got two Lake Sturgeon again. So that's another $14.50 straight away. Um, okay, maybe because my horse isn't close enough. Okay, so what we're going to quickly do is just sell this. $7.25. We've got $0.75 cents for the bluehead catfish. $1 for the chain pickerel. We've got $1.50 for both of the bluegills. And we got $2 for the bass. So... That is, again, around $20. Obviously, you don't need to come back as soon as you get to uh, Lake Sturgeon, for example. You could come back whenever you like. You could stay there for ages. Stay there, kill the fish, pull out your fishing line again, get more fish to spawn, kill them, stay there, get more fish to spawn. You could do that constantly for as long as you like and you would get as much fish as you like i am purely doing this only so then i can just make a video for you guys but i will probably sit there for most of the day now or most of the night now probably just farming my life away for this fish now something which i didn't mention and i've only just really thought of you can make a hell of a lot more money especially with the lake sturgeon that keeps spawning there if you can find a cart find like one of those little bucket carts take that there Make sure that the horses obviously don't run off with the cart. But if they don't run off, if you can get them in a position where they can't run anywhere, you have made bank off of some lake sturgeon. You could put, I don't know, five, six lake sturgeon in there. You know, $14.50 for two. Times that by two, that's $29, right? Times that by uh, two again. You're, I'm not too sure. That's $58. Yeah, $58, you know? And that's only off of four fish. No, six fish. So, no, six fish? No, eight fish. That's off of eight fish. So eight lake sturgeons, which you can easily get, is going to get you $58. And obviously, like I said, they keep spawning. You, you, They spawn, you kill them, they spawn again. You can kill them a lot of money very, very, very quickly, guys. Anyway, like I mentioned in my previous video, we are literally a few days left away from the Christmas giveaway. It's on Christmas Eve, the 24th. It is the 21st today. Guys, if you want to be in it for a chance to win it, it's an £80 Amazon gift card. Make sure you subscribe. That's literally all you need to do. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video and if maybe I taught you about this new location and you didn't know about it, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, guys, if you could share this video around, that would mean an absolute bunch to me. And if you haven't already, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video.